Hey guys, um, so I just thought I would update you guys now that my uh, diagnostics, Kevin talk, ah, now that my diagnostics course has started. Um, it actually seems pretty cool. I'm excited. Um, this is the class that we're actually going to start learning how to draw ABGs. Today we got a little bit more in depth about ABGs. So I'm pretty excited about that. Pharmacology is going okay, but because the course is so short, this particular course is four hours per class, three days a week, and that's actually gonna last for only a little over two weeks. So that course is going by really fast for doing, you know, four chapters a day, if not more. So that's a little bit overwhelming, but I'll get the hang of it. Just a lot of studying. Also, currently I'm about to go into my orthodontist. I figured I would just fill you guys in because most people end up asking me, what is that thing in your mouth? So I'm sure you guys have noticed I've got a little bar in my mouth. Uh, it's called distal carrier, if you want to say it fancy, or distal carrier. Uh, basically, I'm working on getting Invisalign to straighten my teeth out. My lower teeth are a little crooked, and uh, although Invisalign's awesome, it can't shift the full uh, top of your teeth over because my teeth weren't aligned right in the middle. So this little bar here is helping to pull these teeth back uh, with the help of a rubber band and a sublingual bar here. So I'm just gonna go in, they're gonna check to see if my teeth have moved enough. So hopefully I can get these green spacers out of my teeth and I'm just that much closer to getting this big old bar out of my mouth because eating with this thing is not the funnest and it makes me lisp a little bit every time they adjust it. So if you guys hear me lisping after this, you'll know why. Um, well, I guess once I get more into my diagnostics course, I'll kind of update you guys a little bit more. And if you guys have any tips for ABGs, definitely let me know. We've already talked a little bit about acidosis and alkalosis, metabolic and respiratory. So we're okay there for the most part. We're just gonna go in deeper and then we'll actually start practicing drawing ABGs. And I know that we're gonna use those kind of plasticky fake arms, which I don't really think is going to be um, very real lifelike, I guess. So if you guys have any tips or have any funny stories about the first time you did an ABG or something that happened in class, let me know. I'd love to hear it. And maybe, depending on what happens when I get out of the orthodontist, maybe we'll tell you something about this. I don't know if you guys care. If you guys are interested in the Invisalign process, let me know if you have questions about that. I'll answer whatever I can. All right, I'll update you guys when I get out. And I'm back. So not as good of news as I hope. I was hoping to get the digital impression so that I could actually get my Invisalign, but my teeth are stubborn and haven't moved enough. So you guys are gonna keep seeing this little metal bar until I get rid of it. All right, well, I guess I don't really have much more to update you guys on. I've got a lot of tests coming up. Um, I have a test on Monday for pharmacology. The first part of the book was really just going through basic stuff, just kind of laying the foundation so then we can start getting into the medications. It kind of went over uh, MDIs a little bit and particle deposition, things like that. Uh, to kind of help me better understand what types of medications I should be using for different situations and what's going to work in each type of MDI on top of just basic vocabulary. So I've got that test and then I said that was Wednesday, I think. And on Thursday, I'll have a test for uh, ECGs and then um, I think I've got another test on Friday, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think I have another pharmacology test on Friday. So like I said, it's moving pretty fast paced. And as soon as my pharmacology class ends, which um, next week will be the last week, uh, I'll actually be starting my pediatrics course, which I'm actually really excited about. So once that starts, I'll let you guys know how it's going. And again, if you guys have any comments, questions, or again, if you guys have any tips for my upcoming uh, ABG licensing and learning how to draw bug gases, definitely let me know because I'm, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. I've never had to stick anyone before, so it's going to be a learning process, definitely. All right, so I'll see you guys next time.